Hey guys, we're here today with my daughter's 2010 Honda Cross Tour. Uh, we're gonna start a series on what kids should know um, so they can maintain their cars by themselves and not have to pay a lot of money. So today we are gonna start with a simple oil change. All right, so before we change the oil in your car, I guess the first step to this series should be, why are we changing engine oil? So do you have any idea why we change oil in a car? It's good for your engine. Yes, it is good for your engine. So the reason is that oil will degrade and get dirty over time. So the purpose of engine oil is to lubricate your engine to keep it from getting hot. So if that stops working, your engine will get hot and overheat. And it also will have a lot of debris and stuff in it. So as we see, when we change the oil, you'll see that uh, there's a lot of debris and the new oil is a lot lighter. All right, she's got this little thing here saying service B1, negative 161. So all we need to do an oil change on a 2010 Honda Cross Tour is four and a half quarts of motor oil. They call for zero W20. We have this filter from STP. This is the model number. I'll put links to all this stuff in the description of the video so you can purchase it. You're going to need a 17 millimeter socket, a ratchet for that socket, a torque wrench to retighten it, and you're going to need uh, some kind of tool to remove the oil filter because it's going to be on there tight. This is the wrong size for this filter. This one's a little too big. I didn't have the right one. So the other option is a tool like this that is adjustable and it can grab onto any size filter. I've always put a tarp under when I do an oil change in case oil splashes out, which it inevitably will, and some kind of catch can for the oil, a funnel to put the oil back in to make it a little easier so it doesn't splash, and that's all you need. All right, we're gonna have Regan do this oil change on her own, and we're gonna start with a set of quick jacks. So the first thing you gotta do is raise your car somehow so you can get underneath it to where the oil drain plug is. All right, a lot of you at home will just have front ramps that you're gonna drive the front wheels up to get it high enough to get under the car. But if you're using actual jacks and jack stands, the jack points are right here. You can see that uh, extra thick metal right here is what's meant for your jack to lift up the car. And in the rear, you have a similar one here. So with the quick jack, I'm just gonna place the blocks under there. So when you've got the quick jack, it's as easy as pressing the up button and holding it in and your car goes up. And when you're using the quick jacks, it has these little safety stops so that it will not fall down on you. All right, next step is to reach in there and pop your hood. You what? So, so, um, to get it to stay up. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to... So there should be a little uh, metal thing that is hooking it in. Stop it from going up so that if it comes up while you're driving, it will not fly up and hit your windshield. So there it is right there. Just lift that up and it will come right open. All right, so this is your engine if you've never seen it before. And this little cap here is where the new oil goes in. So one of the first things we're gonna do is take that cap off. So it's gonna relieve the pressure for when we Remove the drain plug so the oil will flow out smoothly. So here, take a uh, rag to keep yourself from getting too dirty. And if you've just been driving the car, it's a little warm, you wanna change your oil when it is a little warm because it's thinner that way and it'll flow out. So we're just gonna take that cap off and set it aside for now. There we go. Another thing I like to do every time I change the oil or brakes or anything dirty, go ahead and put some gloves on because it'll be a lot easier. All right, so before draining the oil, I always like to throw a tarp down here under here because oil can spill and splash around and you're gonna want something to catch the oil in. So I'm just sliding this whole contraption under there. All right, so if you have a creepy crawler like this, you can slide under the car a little easier. You just have to get it over the bumps. <laughs> All right, so just get on your back and slide under there. 
and I'll show you where it is. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting dirty. Come on, old lady. Okay. Um, Alright, so once you get under the car, your car actually cheats and tells you. See that right there? Yeah. It says engine oil, and there is a bolt that is 17 millimeters. So I got a socket for you. Mm. 17 millimeters. <laughs> and now, yeah, no. left to Lucy. Yeah. Okay, so as soon as you start it, you can take the tool off because you'll be able to turn it by hand, and you want to kind of keep the bolt pressed in as you unscrew it because if you keep it pressed in, it's not gonna start leaking as much because you wanna loosen it as much as you can before it comes out and then you're gonna yank your hand out of the way because it's gonna it's starting to come. dump a lot of oil and you might want to yeah, move this back a little yeah. because it's gonna shoot over that way in this car, the way it's lined up. So do you know what I mean by pressing it in as you're unscrewing it? Like keeping the pressure of the oil inside there? Yes. Okay. Good. Am I doing it? Yeah. So you're going to feel it when it starts coming loose. It's going to come loose all of a sudden. And then you're going to want to kind of yank your hand out of the way. So it yeah. comes. You want to get the bolt out. So keep going. Yeah, you got to take your... All the way out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll have to take the, the bolt out. all the way out. <laughs> and yes, if you drop the bolt, it might splash. <laughs> Did it get on my hair? No, I think you're just. Got a little on your shirt. It's okay. You're you're like a badass. So you can go to work and say I changed my own oil. <laughs> so yeah. Oh my god. When you change oil, you're gonna get a little dirty. So she just learned a good lesson there. Yeah, so it's not really coming out super fast, which is kind of surprising, which makes me think that maybe there was not enough oil in this car. Well, it said negative five. No, it was that negative wasn't the, 100. Oh. That, was, that wasn't the amount of oil. That was the interval of oil change. It was way over time for an oil change. That just tells you. It's like burning it all up. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna sit here and let this drain all the way. And while it's draining, you can go ahead and remove the oil filter. And on this car, it is, where are you oil filter? It is uh, right here behind the wheel. So when it comes off, it's gonna drip all over this uh, cross brace here and uh, make a mess so if the oil is going to drip on the part of the car i have a little secret that i try to do aluminum foil this stuff comes in handy all of the time so i'm going to take a sheet and cover up the areas that it's going to drip on right here yeah so if you put aluminum foil over the area that it's going to drip on you won't have to uh, let it burn off of your car you can just remove the aluminum foil when you're done all right, so this is what the oil filter looks like that we are removing. It screws on with these little threads here. So you are going to uh, turn it counterclockwise to unscrew it. And typically you have a tool that looks like this that you can attach uh, to something and it will fit on here. You can see there's little grooves that match up with the little grooves around the head and you can unscrew it with that. Unfortunately, I don't have the correct size for her car. So we have uh, an adjustable one that you can change the size and you're gonna grab onto it and you're going to unscrew it with this. Are you sure I'm not tightening it? Because now it's like that. Um, you just told me to it. Well, there it is. Turn it very nice. So it'll be difficult to turn for a while, so just keep using the tool, and then when it starts becoming really easy, you can use your hand and spin it off. And just be careful because it is going to be full of oil, and it will start. Do I need to like catch it? I yeah, just leave it there for a second okay. and let it um, let it kind of drain. And then when 
it slows down, you can just keep on twisting it. Just kind of try to hold it so you don't drop it when it comes loose. Because it will be filled with oil when it comes when it's done. So when it comes off, you're gonna... Like a pillow. <laughs> I had a pillow, here you go. There you go, princess. So once it comes off, you're gonna try to keep it vertical, like a cup of water, and guide it out right there. So you spill as little as possible. Just drop it right in the box. Right in there. Uh. <laughs> Why are you so scared? I'm not just hot. So yeah, probably a little hot. All right, so that's it. Now we just get out and let it drain. Okay, so for the new filter that we're going to put back on, it has a little rubber gasket built into it. So in order to help this seal better, all you do is you reach in and get a little of the old oil or the new oil, it doesn't matter, on your finger and you uh, rub it around here to lubricate it. And this will help it when you screw it back on to seal nice and tight. So you're just going to take this, get back under there and screw it back on. Yes. Working. <laughs> How tight do I need to do it? So now you're gonna get that tool again and you're gonna tighten it back up. Really tight? Uh, you don't want to go really tight because you're gonna have to take it off next time, but you're gonna do it really snug, I would say. You definitely don't want it falling off, but you want to be able to get it back off next time. I don't know what your definition of snug is. He can check Keep it. Keep going until it's really hard to turn. That's pretty. Seems pretty hard. Right. It's still like turning, but yeah, it's. Keep like, going. You can still like turn pretty, and keep going. Uh, okay. If we had the right tool, we could put a torque mm -hmm. wrench on it and get the exact correct torque, but since I don't have that tool, we have to guess. Okay. I think it's a puck. It's measured in uggas, so you need two uggas. Okay, I think, I think it's good. It's <laughs> good. All right. All right, if that's... you can't turn it now, that's good. Okay. <laughs> run the sticker. All right, so the last step, so it's down to a drip, so that's close enough, is we can put the put this back on yeah so I'm just gonna clean this off for you now there is a little crush washer on the base of this and you want to replace this crush washer each time because the name states it actually crushes and you can see that it has a little lip on it from when it got crushed from the last time that it was put in there so that helps it not leak and Reagan just screw that thing back in by hand a little rag in case you need to wipe Can wipe I off like the whole yeah, wipe mm -hmm. off the whole wipe off wipe off all the area where oil has spilled so you don't want that on your car and then you can stick that back in with the new crush washer on it and then we'll tighten it Can I see that aluminum foil out? Yeah. Make sure you remove the aluminum foil. Don't need that anymore. Okay. 
Okay, so you should check the torque spec on your car. This is a torque wrench. Typically it's 20 to 25 foot-pounds for the drain plug. So I have this set for 25 foot-pounds now. And, uh, where's my socket? Nope. So you just take the same socket you had, put it on your torque wrench, and you're gonna tighten it until you hear this wrench click. Move this thing. Yeah, I'll show it towards me. Uh, the only way that it's tightening, so you... yes, yes, yeah, towards me. Yep. Did that click? Yep. Is that your click? Do yeah. It again. Oh no, that was the uh, that was just the ratchet. Oh. It's really moving. It's like not staying on. Yeah, you gotta get it flush on that. There you go. Wait, so that way? Get away from you. It's tighter. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. Now keep pushing on the bottom. There you go. Did you hear that click, click? Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. that was it. So that's tight enough. Okay. All right, I'll just take it off. On the home stretch. <laughs> All right, so that is every, you're recording? Yeah. Okay, so that's everything from under the car, so now all we have to do is put the new oil in. So the easiest way is to put a funnel there to make pouring the oil in easier so you're not spilling everywhere. All right, so if the top of your motor oil has this little uh, tab on, or the little, uh, what's this called? The metal seal on it, I'll show you a little trick. If you make a big hole on the bottom and a little air hole on the top, it will make it easier to pour. So, there you go, beautiful. Just guide it right in there. And depending on which car you have, you need to know how much oil to put in it. So this car says it calls for four and a half quarts. So we have a five quart bucket. So we're gonna put four and a half in. And while you're putting it in, it is a good idea to take a look under the car just to make sure that there is no oil leaking. That'll make sure you didn't forget to attach something that should be there. All right, you don't want to put the whole thing in, right? So we're doing four and a half. And it should have a little measurement on the side. Yep, all right, we still got a good half a one to go. All right, so that's just over four quarts. It's better to do a little bit less than a little bit too much the first time because it's easier to add than take it out. So we're gonna put our cap back on, and now we're gonna go ahead and start the car so we can get the engine, uh, get the oil flowing through the engine. So you wanna go ahead and start it? Keys, please. We're just going to let it idle for a little bit, get the engine uh, moving and pushing that oil around. Okay, so in this car, it has an oil dipstick. So what you're going to want to do is pull it out, wipe it clean, and then stick it back in, pull it right back out. And that should tell us where our engine oil is. So most of them have this little area in the middle that has the cross hatches and you can see the oil is just to the bottom. So that means that's the minimum amount we can have. If it's at the top, that's the maximum. So if it's above this line, that's too much oil. If it's below this line, it's too little oil. You want it right in the middle somewhere. So like I said, we added uh, just a little bit less than what it said. So we need to go ahead and add what it said. So it's in that area. Just gonna add a little more here. And we're gonna check this again. And now you can see that the oil is right in the middle. Can you see that? So now you can see the shiny part right there. The oil is right in the middle of the dipstick, right where we want it. All right, final step, make sure you replace the oil fill cap. 
and clean up any tools or rags that you have in the engine bay and go ahead and close it. Okay, last step after everything is done, I just use the funnel to go ahead and put the old oil back into here. You can take this old oil to any auto parts store and they will recycle it for you. All right, so this is the old oil. You can see it is uh, just about black and there was not very much that came out of our car. So we're gonna pour it back in and see how low it was. All right, so there are now two and a half quarts in here and there should be five so her car was two and a half quarts low okay so the very last step is to reset the computer in your car if you have a newer car that does a little countdown for your oil for you you can just turn the ignition on without turning the car on and you can see this is flashing right here and you have a reset button so you're gonna hold this reset button in for about uh, eight seconds to 10 seconds. And after a while, the whole thing is gonna flash. And then you let go and then you press it in again and hold it for another eight to 10 seconds. And there it tells you oil life is 100%. So we went from negative 161% to 100%. So do not let yours drop low. Change your oil regularly every 5,000 miles or when your car tells you to do so. All right, an oil change in lunch. How did it go? Wonderful. Best experience of my life. <laughs> did you learn something today? Yes. Change All right, good. Oil. So next time we know how to do it. And mm -hmm. we're going to change it. Facts. How often are we going to change it? Every five. Yes. <laughs> yes, very good. All right. Depends. Thank you very much, Reagan, and we'll see you for the next project. All right, I hope that was helpful, guys, and I hope it shows you how important it is to show your kids how to do things on their own car. Two and a half quarts of oil low is very bad and will really damage your car quickly. So make sure they know the basics on maintenance, and I'll try to keep this series going with some more informative stuff for your kids and everybody for that matter to know about their cars. So thanks for watching everybody. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Give the video a thumbs up and I will see you every Friday at 12 o'clock.